Okay, so we've come to this part. I think we're already back in school. Uh, and well, the title of this segment is called Pajamas and Suits. So, well, pajamas probably refers to the girls in pajamas and then suits. I guess Akira's in the room too. So, yeah, and we're at the girls' dormitories. So, I don't know, we're going to have a pajamas party or whatever. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what goes down here. Walking up the now slightly more familiar corridor of the girls' dormitories, I can hear the faint sound of laughter coming from up ahead. Ah, it's coming from... Alright, it doesn't take long to identify the source as Lily's room, though the deep timber of the female voice unmistakab unmistakably belongs not to her, but to her sister. Ah, there we go. I rap my knuckles on the door with the usual three light taps hand barely retreating as the door swings open. Oh, hey, Sal. Hey, hello, Lily, Anako. And there we go, the, uh, the comments. Yep, this one, we've seen this before. The all too familiar scene. Hanako looks up tentatively, her hands buried in her oversized pink nightgown. From her side, Lily turns sideways towards the direction of my voice and smiles. It would be a flagrant lie to say I dislike the sight of her in those pajamas. I catch Akira giving me a sidelong look with a knowing grin, to which I reply with a sharp glare. She takes the hint, shrugs, and walks back to the low table in the center of the room. As I go to join her, Lily gives me a nod of greeting and starts pouring me a cup of tea. It's nice to see you again, Hanako. You have been getting around recently. Lily wears a look of concentration as the light brown liquid, carefully measured by her finger as always, flows from the teapot into the cup. It seems Hanako has taken up helping one of the people in your class with the newspaper club. Now, Na Naomi, I think. Oh, so Hanako has joined a, a new club. Alright, newspaper club. Hanako gives an affirmative nod. Even after spending about two months in the class, I still have trouble remembering the names of those students I rarely talk with. Well, namely the boys, because I hardly... <laughs> actually, throughout this whole game, I have yet to really see his how interactive with the boys in his class, you know. <laughs> Save Kenji, who is not in his class anyway. It takes me a few mental contortions to connect the name with her face, but I eventually remember the girl that sits beside me. Hanako at the back of the class. Na uh, Naomi Inoue, a fairly average looking girl, except for her bleached blonde hair. I see. But why do you only remember girls' names? <laughs> How about the boys? There are boys in your class too, you know. Like seriously. <laughs> Given her upbeat and straightforward personality, Naomi may have seen an opening to poach Hanako for a club when she inquired about, about joining one. Na Naomi, Naomi. Yeah, Naomi. I'm trying to pronounce it properly. That's how you pronounce it in Japanese. Naomi. Either way, it's nice to see Hanako broadening her horizons. When I first met her, the idea of her joining a club with anyone but Lily would have seemed utterly laughable. That would explain how busy you've been. Enjoying it? Mm, it's really interesting. As always, Hanako is far from being talkative. Some things never change, and it seems that Hanako's personality is one of them. She'll likely be always be one to shy away from being too overly uh, social. Alright, warned by the sound of crockery against the table as Lily gently places my drink in front of me, uh, I thank her and take a long sip. Hanako and Lily are attending to their own and Akira is quaffing a mug of strong-smelling black coffee. You lucky bastard, he sell. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I can't help grimacing at her teasing smile, still visible around the edges of the mug, past to her lips. Don't tell me she knows about what we did back at uh, the, the, the house there in Hokkaido. <laughs> See my sister in her pajamas. 
There's a lot of men out there who like to be where you are. True enough. I'm blessed to see them, you know, wearing like this, you know. Particularly Didi with her short, you know, short skirt. I've seen a lot more than that of her. Not that I, I would admit it. Okay, so, so Akira does know. <laughs> Akira? <laughs> hey, I'm just teasing. <laughs> she leans over to me as much as she can, whispering with a sly grin written on her face. Oh oh. Hey, oh wait. That look on Akira's face. And Hanako, too. You perv. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, it was her idea. Um, I. Uh. <laughs> uh, actually, you know, when you see Akira looking like this, you have to be really careful because like, this look means serious business. <laughs> I guess. We both look over to her, her face turned to the ground, and her hands fidgeting in the lap of her nightgown. If it's his song, I don't mind. What do you mean by that, Hanako? What do you mean by you don't mind? No, this this ain't a harem route, okay? Although I don't mind a harem route. <laughs> but I don't think there is any uh, in this game. Ah, this could be bad. I know Hanako's altogether too innocent to bother reading too much into such a thing. But the expression Akira directs at me is positively stormy. <laughs> um, Akira, please? <laughs> it seems Lily can sense Akira's sudden change in aura just as well as me, even without seeing it for herself. Akira slowly looks away from me, like an attack dog leashed by its owner in the nick of with a sigh of relief. I can't think of a more appropriate time to try and change topics than around now. If you don't mind me asking Akira, what do you do for a living? I've never seen you out of that suit. Oh yeah, actually I'm being curious too. Think about what to do with yourself to school solo, eh? I'm a lawyer. Oh yeah, actually I think she's said that before in Hanako's room, that she's a lawyer. I think so. For the most part, I work in the little department of the Japanese branch of our family's company. Oh, the most boring possible answer, I suppose. Lost a pretty dry topic to most people. Yes, that it is. Kinda. Oi, you're not supposed to agree? <laughs> but it is boring, you know. Lily gives an amused giggle while holding her key teacup and saucer. Hanako quickly joining her. This friendly atmosphere is between everyone is something I had missed while Lily and Akira were on their trip. While the dealings I had with Hanako didn't help, I think just not having Lily around changed the mood. It's nice to be back. I missed you, Hisa. And you too, Hanako. Same goes for the both of us. I'm guessing your classmates were happy to see you back. In a manner of speaking, yes. Akira's amused snot shows she's well aware of Lily's attitude towards such figures of speech. I imagine that she will have to be given how long they've been together. Did you have fun in Scotland? For a moment, I wonder why she's asking. It having been quite a while since they came back. But then I remember everything that happened. We've simply not had time to look back. What with the exams and our Hokkaido trip, true. So let's see how well their family has been doing. Oh, but she seems kind of not so happy. Lily's face goes distant for a moment. And the fact that Hakira's first reaction is to look over to her sister doesn't escape me. Nonetheless, she quickly collects herself. Yeah, and Akira looks serious right here. It was nice. I mean... I hadn't met our family in such a long time, so it was a wonderful reunion. I guess we need a one-to-one -one talk later with Vivi. Yeah, I guess that's right. The house being beach side was the best part though. From her dismissive tone, I get the feeling Akira doesn't like their family as much as Vivi does. Probably because we're not they're not close enough because you know 
they've been away, they've been separated from their parents for so long, you know, Lily and Akira. Yeah. You only like that because they had finally had time to play around. Just because I'm the better swimmer. I don't take up the dead athletic side of the family, that's all. Well, you can take hand in the back that you got the high jeans at least. Well, but you're tall too, right, Akira? And the bus jeans? Um. <laughs> um, I, uh, <laughs> I know what to say to that. That's not really the right kind of thing to say around others. Though Lily pretends to score Akira, she does so with an unmistakable, slightly cheeky grin on her face. I doubt Akira really minds that, judging from her nonchalant expression. While I don't need her, Hanako's looking down and blushing furiously beside me. <laughs> the sisters' antics aside, their parents really do lead a bourgeois lifestyle. Uh, or is it bourgeois? Bourgeois. <laughs> French bourgeois. Yeah, anyway, yeah, bourgeois lifestyle. It seems utterly divorced from the life that Lily and Akira have lived until now. I suppose practicality must have made the decision for them. To have come from such a wealthy and well-connected lineage only adds to the almost noble air Lily seems to have, though. It's a small wonder none of it seems to have rubbed off of onto Akira. They really are like as little alike as siblings could be. Their only similarity seems to be uh, their shared confidence, which can be both endearing and a headache at times. But it's all in good fun, you know. Okay, most of the night continues much the same, with Hanako eventually leaving the Sato sisters and me to ourselves as she heads back to her dorm room for rest. Okay, so now it's we need to you know get down to business uh, because now it's important stuff going down, I guess. For a while, only the barely audible sound from Lily's teacup and saucer can occasionally be heard as she slowly drinks. The silence is strained as Lily and I wait for the elephant in the room to be addressed. Yeah, we know what it's all about, you know, the elephant in the room. Yeah. So... Lily dutifully puts her cup down, giving her sister her undivided attention. Yeah, it's time we, you know, tell Akira our relationship, you know. With, me, with Lily and me on one side of the low table, and Akira on the other. This almost feels like a judge, passing down a verdict. I hear that you two are going out now. I glance sideways at Lily to confirm her as a source of Akira's knowledge. She gives a gentle nod to Akira, which I mirror in affirmation. Deciding that this is the proper time and place to do so, and Akira being the closest figure to a parent in Lee's head for much of her life, I bow deeply with my hands on the floor before me and my head very nearly the same. Yeah, that's what Japanese usually do. I'll, took, uh, I'll take good care of your sister, Akira. I promise you. See? He's, he's a lovely young gentleman. She must have heard my voice coming from a lower position than usual. I slowly bring myself back up, my eyes tentatively looking to Akira from under the, my brow. To tell the truth, I very much doubt my suited judge will raise any objections. She's very definitely the type to make her disapproval with others well known, something that lends her a measure of respect in my eyes. The old fashioned kind, huh? Well, he's the kind of person I guess you'd go for. I don't have a problem with it, and I wish you two the best. Even if I didn't like it, I couldn't really do anything anyway. I offer not not of appreciation to her as Lily gives a small sigh of relief, likely more out of duty than any actual belief Akira might have had any problems with us being together. So we've cleared some co obstacles, you know. First we've cleared the Hanako obstacle, which is easy because friend, but then again we never know. But anyway, we cleared the Hanako obstacle. We have now cleared the Akira obstacle. I guess the next obstacle we're going to clear the last step will be the parents. <laughs> But that means we have to fly to Scotland, and I guess that part probably won't be featured in this route. Yeah, unless there's like an epilogue or something like that, you know. I do wonder though, how's the rest of the family taking it? 
particularly the part residing in Yamaku. Have you to her? Um, hmm. Smiles turn to grimaces as Akira grins downright evilly. Those closest know how to twist the knife best after all. Yeah, actually, uh, actually I think if we're talking about Shizune, she's okay with it because yeah, actually the Shizune obstacle also kind of cleared. <laughs> uh, but I think we haven't told Hisao hasn't told his parents yet. But I think his parents are, should also be fine. So no, no big deal. Putting her with it may be the best term for the situation. Don't you agree, Hisao? Yeah, that sounds about right. At least she's being reasonable about it. Good to hear. That girl can be a handful at the best of times. Don't worry, Shizune is okay with it. We sent a few messages just back and forth at, during and just after the trip, and she was already busting my chops for seeing my boyfriend when we came back. After leaving, he did ask me for so long. She really does care for the little guy. Oh yeah, I've, I almost forgot about Hideaki too. <laughs> but I think, well, that one should be okay. I cast my mind back to Shizune's odd reaction after telling her about our relationship, but decide not to bring it up. It's no doubt simply born of their mutual antipathy, and Akira's comments only back that up. Well then, that's settled. Gotta get to work early tomorrow, so I better be off. She rises from the table with a grunt, her hand on her knee to push herself up. I just noticed Akira's eyes lingering on Lily for a couple of seconds before turning away as she begins to take her leave. After she walks out the door, she stops and looks up thoughtfully before turning to us one last time. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to tell you. What is it? Use protection. Every time. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me, actually we didn't use protection when we did it twice, right? No, we didn't. <laughs> but at the house there, yeah, you know, Lily and um, Hisa basically had sex twice, right? But in both of those times, I don't remember both of them using protection at all. <laughs> but I don't know. I gag violently on the teeth of my mom. <laughs> Contrary to my own, Lily's composure holds perfectly as she seems entirely unfazed. I'm kind of impressed, which just only goes to show even more, more that, you know, Lily's a pro at sex. I mean, <laughs> she's the one who, you know, who took the initiative in both of those sex acts, you know. If you don't have really noticed, she took the lead. So, which only goes to show that, you know, she's a pro at sex. <laughs> but anyway. We are. Don't worry. Okay, if you say so, Lily. <laughs> Attica, see us. And with that, she turns and strides away, her hand held high as she disappears into the darkened hallway, closing the door behind her. Alright, so it's now one to one. The most reaction I can master is flopping forward onto the table, completely drained of energy and truly exhausted by her. Lily's ability to hold her own against that suited devil is something I admire. She really is incredibly blunt. I don't think I'll ever be able to keep up with her sister's energy. As I feel Lily's soft hand come to rest on my own, I roll my head to the side to see her gently smiling. For a long time, we simply sit beside each other silently. Actually, come to think of it, are we going to do it a third time here? <laughs> Given her unquestionably unusual height, she is pretty much exactly as tall as I am. Probably a couple of centimeters higher, if anything. Like this, she appears even taller. The feeling of her pale, uh, soft hand against mine is a pleasant one. As is a stite, of the thin silken pajamas she wears, showing her cuffs and collarbone. <laughs> oh yeah, cuffs. You do get a home bell though, even if you do say that. I guess, you know, you two are a lot more alike than I first thought when I met you. That is a good thing I quickly stopped you from going after her, isn't it? 
Doshi jokes about it. My assessment of my inability to keep up with Akira, either physically or mentally, was quite in earnest. Lily solo paced and ladylike, almost motherly nature is perhaps the single thing that helped me most in my first weeks at Yamako. You know, come to think of it, Lily is kind of like the, the, the mother and um, Akira is kind of like the father because she's the one who has to work every day, right? So she's like the fatherly figure or something like that. <laughs> if, you know, if you get what I mean. Uh, come to think of it, wait. Since when were we using protection? See, there we go, man. He saw. <laughs> I don't remember both of them actually using protection, you know. But I don't think. Yeah, I don't think Lily's going will get pregnant. Probably that's the perfect time when you know, you know that's Lily's period or something like that, you know. <laughs> so they're safe, you know. <laughs> As I give a curious look to my side. Lily's cheeks puff out as she huffs at me. <laughs> the pouty face again. Unlike you, I remembered. The backyard is in the cupboard next to the sink. Oh, okay, okay, so Lily did use protection, alright. <laughs> so, I'm not the only one of us that takes a pill. In hindsight, I feel rather thoughtless for not remembering at all and leaving it to Lily. Okay, so she actually did put protection, but it's not just didn't remember. <laughs> okay. Looking over to the cupboard, she mentions, I noticed again the knee-high piles of books around us that were here the other times I visited. For the most part, they line up against the wall to give a little more room around the table. Why don't you get a bookshelf for your books? It's odd to see books just piled around, especially given that your room looks so neat and orderly otherwise. Here is it a fine this way. I know exactly which part of each book is in. Well, you, you could do the same with a bookshelf, you know. Yeah, wouldn't you still know that after putting each set on a different shelf? That may be, but maybe because it takes up a lot of space or something, a bookshelf? So she's not immune to bouts of laziness after all. You have so many of them. It's kind of a shame we can't share our book sets, despite both of us reading so much. She gives a shot eager. Uh, come to think of it, why do you order your books through Yuko? I imagine there will be plenty of sites that you could order books in Braille from, especially in English Braille. There are a lot of text-to-speech programs too, oh yeah, that's true too. She turns her head slightly away from me, which strikes me as somewhat surprising. I'm just not all that good with computers. I'm alright with typewriters and brailers, but that's about it. Understandable. Her tone almost makes me chuckle. She's a prideful person, so admitting something like that must be difficult. <laughs> okay. So, Lee is the low tech kind of person. Given her old fashioned personality, it's not really a stunning surprise. Yeah, kind of true too. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. A lot of people aren't really that good with them, so it's not that unusual. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's true. There are people, even though uh, nowadays technology is getting better, better. There are still people who are not good with technology, which is okay. It's perfectly fine, you know. That unusual. Now she's even more depressed. It feels like I'm twisting the knife rather than healing her wounds. Oops, you're adding salt to the wood. With a bit of squirming, I shuffle my way closer to her, tentatively putting one hand around her waist to hug her. I'm still not really used to this kind of physical affection, but Lily seems to like it. Oh, and that's kind of fast. And they're doing it, they're kissing again. I don't know if they're gonna go in for uh, I mean, I don't know if they're going further than that, but this is a start <laughs> with that kiss. Oh, that, that last kiss. <laughs> Lily smiles as she turns to face me, a kiss being the reward for giving in to her. She draws me in, brushing my upper lip with hers before pressing against both. This way, every one of my senses is filled with her. 
the barely perceptible scent of her hair, her taste as her tongue fleetingly touches mine, the tenderness of her lips, the image of her filling my mind, the toned silence apart from her thin breath. We may have kissed before, but even if this is more a kiss of simple affection than anything, it's still a new and pleasant sensation. Uh, it doesn't really look like a kiss, you know? It's more like a French kiss, you know? <laughs> anyway, uh, judging from her vivid blush as she pulls back, it's obvious she feels the same as I do. Even if you're entirely alone, it still feels a little embarrassing to open up to each other this much. If we take everything day by day, I think that will be for the best. Small steps, right? Yeah, just small steps. We have plenty of time to be together, even after the school year is over. As long as we move together, I think everything will work out okay. Neither of us is going anywhere soon after all. For now, I'm just thankful for this small moment in time we can spend together. Oh yeah.